Hello, mabuhay science enthusiasts! I'm so thrilled to share with you our next lesson about the structure of matter based on mass and volume. My name is Sir Randy, your science teacher at your service. Today, we will describe the three states of matter based on their mass and volume and compare mass and volume using the density of matter. Stay with me as I start this new lesson by deepening our understanding about mass. Mass is a measure of the amount of matter in a substance or an object. The basic SI unit for mass is the kilogram, but smaller masses may be measured in grams. To measure mass, you would use a balance. In the lab, mass may be measured with a triple beam balance or an electronic balance. Mass of solid can be measured by using any weighing scale and can be calculated by multiplying the value of an object's density and its volume. M is equal to D multiplied to V, where in M stands for mass, D stands for density, and V stands for volume. Mass is commonly confused with weight. Yes, there is a confusion between mass and weight. The two are closely related, but they measure different things. Whereas, mass measures the amount of matter in an object. Weight measures the force of gravity acting on an object. The force of gravity on an object depends on the mass, but also on the strength of gravity. If the strength of gravity is held constant, then an object's mass is directly proportional to the object's weight. So, a greater mass also has a greater weight. In most physics or chemistry classes, students learn about the terms mass, density, and their relationship. Mass usually refers to the amount of matter in an object, while density is the physical property of matter. By definition, density is mass per unit volume, where volume is the space the object occupies. The symbol for density is the Greek letter rho, or RHO, or that letter P lookalike symbol. Although you can easily find mass from the equation given for density, there are a few rules you need to know or you need to follow to solve correctly these types of problems. Take note that density can be calculated using the formula D is equal to M over V where D means density in kilogram per liter or kilogram per cubic meter where in M means mass in kilogram and V means volume in liter or cubic meter. Volume is a measure of the amount of space that a substance or an object takes up. The basic SI unit for volume is the cubic meter, but smaller volumes may be measured in cubic centimeter, and in liquids may be measured in liters or milliliters. How the volume of matter is measured depends on its state. For one, the volume of a liquid is measured with a measuring container such as a measuring cup or a graduated cylinder. The volume of a gas depends on the volume of its container. Gases expand to fill whatever space is available to them. The volume of a regularly shaped solid can be calculated by its dimension. For example, the volume of a rectangular solid is the product of its length, width, and height. The volume of an irregularly shaped solid can be measured by the displacement method. How could you find the volume of air in an otherwise empty room? If the room has a regular shape, 
He could calculate its volume from each dimension. For example, the volume of a rectangular roof can be calculated with the formula. Volume is equal to length times width times height. If the length of the roof is 5.0 meters, the width is 3.0 meters, and the height is 2.5 meters, then the volume of the roof is 37.5 cubic meter. Alright, so before we end our lesson today, I have some questions to ask, especially for you. What does mass and volume tell you about matter? What is the importance of matter in our lives? These are two significant questions that will make you appreciate the importance of learning mass and volume of matter. Mass is a measure of the amount of matter in an object. Volume is defined as the amount of space occupied by an object. Matter has atoms and molecules. So, the food that we eat every day consists of atoms as well as of molecules. The food, water, and oxygen are also kind of matter. Therefore, your basic needs in life are made of matter and without which you cannot survive in this planet. Thank you very much to all of you at sana ay natuto tayong lahat at para maraming matuto kung yung kakalimutan na ibahagi ito sa inyong mga kaibigan at kaklase. Hanggang sa muli, paalam!